The president speaking for more than 20 minutes on camera using notes to clarify more than 24 hours after the fact. Those comments that he made speaking from the podium next to Russia's President Vladimir Putin yesterday. Despite his multiple tweets since then and two sit down interviews, it took more than 24 hours for the president to make that correction where he said uh, that President Putin said it's not Russia. And I don't see any reason why it would be correcting that to why it wouldn't be uh, that change would essentially seem to affirm the findings of the U.S. intelligence community that then came out uh, and basically themselves were in damage control. The director of national intelligence, uh, Dan Coats, issuing a statement, a rare rebuke of the president and the White House to boost morale of the intelligence community after the president's comments that he made in Helsinki yesterday. Importantly, the president did say that his administration would work aggressively to repel any efforts by Russia to interfere in any future elections. That coming after the special counsel on Friday found that Russia, in addition to hacking Democratic servers and uh, employees, also attempted to hack state boards of elections as well and is setting their sights on potentially the midterms coming up later this year. Finally, he said he has full faith and confidence in the intelligence agency. He said he has the strongest respect for his leaders that he has put in place, specifically calling out Director Coates by name as well as the CIA director, Gina Haspel. Uh, so we will see whether that is enough uh, in the day after this summit uh, to shore up support from the Republican Party and the intelligence community that were left scratching their heads after the events of yesterday. Were they going to do anything about it, Kayla, or just come out and condemn what the president said? Well, it's unclear, Sarah, what exactly they could do. I mean, there have been calls in the past uh, for potential safeguards to be put in place by Capitol Hill and by lawmakers for the special counsel investigation for Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein uh, that we learned in the last few days. House conservatives sp specifically were potentially considering a campaign to possibly impeach Rosenstein. There are certain safeguards that they could put in place for those institutions, uh, but they can't change the president's mind on what he believes about Russia and whether he believes what the intelligence community has found. A lot of them are moving to uh, put safeguards in place on trade. We heard the Senate finance chair and the Senate majority leader today uh, issue their support for those potential moves. So we will see whether they choose those avenues to uh, reestablish alliances with trading partners like Europe uh, and like Canada and Mexico, uh, even as they see the president uh, be extremely uh, contentious in his discussions with uh, institutions like NATO, for instance. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.